Okay, so welcome to my little mini tutorial on how to sail and how the sailing mechanics work uh, and a little bit of stuff like that in Sea of Thieves. So, uh, to sail you've got a few things that actually matter with uh, what you're doing and a few things that affect the way the ship moves on the water. Um, first of which, uh, the biggest one is the wind. If you have a look up, you can see the lines, you can also have a look at your crow's nest and which way the flag's going in order to tell which direction the wind is. What you want to do to get as much speed as you can is you want to uh, adjust the sails so that the wind is actually hitting them full on. You'll notice that when you adjust the sails to match it, the sails will pop like that. You'll get that pop and that's um, yeah, when they've hit full wind. If you move them off that, you can see they'll drop down and you get it. And you go too far, and that's it. Now this is going to matter because when you're actually sailing, you are going to be turning around, and you will position yourself differently to the wind. Um, so you won't always have it on there unless you have someone working the sails in order to catch the wind as you move. Um, so that's one of the bigger things, of course. Uh, so the more wind you have in your sails, the faster you will move in that direction. If you are moving somewhere that is against the wind, you want to try and get it to catch uh, as much of the wind as you can in it. Um, but you don't want it sort of directly facing the wind travel because that will slow you down. Um, the other method you can do, I haven't really tried it out. It's, this, this whole thing of going against the wind is actually a little bit questionable. I still haven't figured out how, uh, how much it affects um, your speed going into the wind. Um, in the beta it was a little bit different. In the beta you could have it so you were catching some of the wind and you would get a speed boost. But I found that any instance that you're sailing into the wind, you will slow down quite considerably. Um, one method of that is actually setting the sail length. You can pop it up slightly so you are actually having less sail in the wind. Um, you can drop it down. Uh, one thing to note as well is that it actually drops down a lot faster than it um, goes up. So uh, it's probably best if you are on a galleon rather than a sloop is to have two people on the sails when you need to adjust um, the sails. Uh, the other thing is the helm. So you've got the uh, wheel. Now on a sloop you've actually got when you turn this around you've got one whole rotation to the left and one more back to center it when you see when you hit the center you'll hear a clunk like that and of course you've got one whole turn around to the right uh, on a galleon you've actually got two whole turns in order to get um, the, uh, the, the excuse me the rudder to turn all the way around um, also you've got uh, your compass directions here so even if your view is blocked by the sails just have to drop that uh, not too bad on a sloop because it actually sits up above your eye line you can usually see what's going on unless you're in um, a rough sea state um, yeah basically you can just have someone in the crow's nest or someone else on the ship guiding you by telling you the compass direction and you can just keep an eye on the compass um, as the helmsman um, one of the other things that affects it is actually the water itself. So you can see here we're in fairly calm waters um, at the moment. This is a pretty average sea state that you'll get. Um, and you'll notice that when you come up towards an island it will actually have an indicator. Uh, I might actually do that now. You'll notice that as I'm moving around I'm actually going up and down on this uh, on the ocean. And if I set my uh, wheel back to the centre, I'm now centred. Um, you'll notice that the position of the sail to the wind as well as going up and down on the waves actually does knock us about and if you keep an eye on the compass it will start to turn uh, a little bit more depending on the sea state you're in. Um, it is a little darker now and the seas are going towards do seem to have a little bit bigger waves. Nothing too spectacular. You won't really notice too much of a difference now because we're getting a lot of but you will notice a massive difference on the sail towards the storm here. Um, but yeah, but I've noticed that when you do go into storms and you're near somewhere, that you've got something bad that you've so we got green. So at the moment, green sea state seems to be the average sort of sea state. But it might be actually a little bit just sort of indicating the lines. I'm pretty sure that's it. Anyway, um, so the sea will actually throw you about, depending on the sea state and going. Uh, having to go up over big waves will slow you down because you will start crashing into them um, and it will, it will slow you up and it will throw about your uh, angle. That is about it for sailing. Uh, oh, actually no, there's still a little bit more, um, especially to do with the sails. So if I were to turn here to the full right, uh, actually we'll go full left because it's windy. So we're now 
how hard left. You see, we're going to go straight and we're going to start slowly turning to the towards the left. The sloop is a bit more maneuverable, it doesn't take too so much to turn it. And you notice the turning circle in the galleon is super big um, when you've got full sails. In order to turn faster, you can either turn with a bit of the wind there, will help push you along, but you can actually raise the sails to the top. Uh, that way you're not getting pushed along forward, you are getting pushed along. Pretty much not at all. So you are pretty much turning on the spot or somewhere close to the spot to on your momentum and all that sort of thing. Um, I can draw a diagram of this to actually indicate exactly how that goes. Um, that yeah, that pretty much sums up what I know of the sailing on this so far. Um, yeah, the next thing we'll go over will probably be the combat.